Should I say check the slump of your concrete? So this truck just arrived to the job site. As you can see, the entrance is there and the pump is over here. He's waiting to pour out next. So while he's waiting, we're gonna check his slump and make sure that his slump is what the customer requested. First thing first, cut this water on. Make sure it's pressurized. He's riding the truck up, the motor just got louder and the drum is spinning faster. 2000, I tell you, he's sitting on a six inch slump. They want a seven inch slump. So we gotta add some water. Over here, we got a meter to tell you how much water going in there. But you can't always trust the meter. You gotta know about the, the sound of the concrete. You gotta know what the mud sound like. It's right about a seven and a half. 1500 will be an eight. Now all trucks are differently. You good? All trucks are different, so the slump meter might indicate something different on a different truck. As you can see, the driver had winded up before I even got over there because they're so used to my routine. As soon as they pull up, I check the slump. And he's got a brand new truck, man. Ain't no dirt on it at all. But if the driver hadn't uh, sped it up for me, these are the controls that I would use to speed it up. Start, stop. Idle, high idle. And the pump is back on. See, you already got a shoot down, ready to back up to the pump and pour. The pump is back on. Looks like that truck is empty. And this truck is pouring out now. Yep. And they just stopped the pump for whatever reason. Oh, pump on, pump on. Oh yeah, guys. But that's how you add some water to a load of concrete. Make sure the slump is correct. Uh, the slump is basically the the water, how much the water, the water to cement ratio, um, and all the different aggregates. So let's say you wanted something drier, like tighter concrete, which is going to be stronger for you. That would be a lower slump, like a two inch, three inch slump. If you wanted something wetter, like if you're pouring a wall or something like that, then you want a seven inch slump, eight inch slump, or a big commercial project like this, they usually always pour on a seven, eight inch slump. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe. Have a good day.